Do you think it's true that your first impression is really your last impression? Well, if you ask me, it definitely is. Especially when it comes to IELTS interview. Hi all, this is Kritika Krishna and welcome back to Leverage IELTS brought to you by Leverage Edu, your trusted study abroad expert. The IELTS speaking test may seem a bit daunting, especially when you have a simple question such as, tell me something about yourself. And this is certainly a part which is going to give a first impression. But hey, don't you worry, as today we are going to learn how to tackle the first part of the speaking module. Now the examiner can ask any type of questions. For example, what's your name? What do you do for a living? Do you like your job? Where do you live? Who do you live with? Etc. Etc. Now, if you see, these are very common questions. Jo generally bhi log aap se puchte hain. So the thing is, do you exactly know how to answer them so you can cover all the parameters that they will assess you on? Well, mostly students don't and there can be many reasons for this. Maybe they get nervous, maybe unko lagta hai, Part 1 may to itne easy questions hongi, ke may practice karne ki need nahi. And just there, my friends, most students go wrong. Let's do one thing. I'm going to ask just one question. Pause this video and see if you're able to answer it in at least three to four lines. The question is Could you tell me about yourself and where you reside? This was just to see where you stand and what all you need to learn. Now let's take some questions and answer them and we will see the words, phrases there are that we can add to make each and every sentence worth 8 bands. Let me tell you first what you can expect as soon as you enter your examination room. So as soon as you enter the room, just greet the examiner with a hi or hello. Now because of this, you'll be breaking a little bit of ice there and you're showing that you are a natural. Now is it important to smile when you greet them? Well, a subtle smile is always welcome. So you said hi, now the examiner will greet you back and then they let you know that the exam is going to be recorded. And after that, the exam will begin and they will press the button of the recorder to start the recording. Now, we are going to start with the questions. First of all, they will ask you your name. For that, you can just simply reply with your full name. So you can say, I am or my names, then they'll ask what they should call you. You'll just say your first or your last name as you like, or maybe a shorter version of your name would also do. For example, you can call me by my first name, Kritika. Then they'll ask you for your passport and will check the details and proceed asking you a set of questions. Could you tell me about yourself and where you reside? Your answer can go like this. I'm Sanya, I reside in Chennai, a city in Tamil Nadu. Just state your city and name. Easy. I'm 25 and finished my bachelor's degree from the University of Tamil Nadu, majoring in physics. So state what you did previously and what you're doing these days in terms of your profession or studies. The neighborhood where I live is tucked along the riverside and is among Chennai's greenest and most peaceful localities. It is a quiet neighborhood where most of the residents have government jobs. Here we gave them a little information about the neighborhood. We used some good words like tugged, we described the neighborhood as green and peaceful, which are good words to describe something. See, no rocket science. Just the usual information about yourself and things around you in clear and sound words. One most important tip I would give all of you is to sound natural. No need to pretend to have a foreign accent. Speak as naturally as possible. At the same time, watch out for the influence of your native tongue on your English. Moving forward, the next question can go like, what are some of the best things about where you reside? You can answer like, my neighborhood in Chennai has a lovely waterfront and plenty of vegetation. So this answers, how does your neighborhood look like? 
Early mornings and late nights are nice because of the giant trees and birds. The area is excellent for relaxing walks in the morning and nights because it is almost pollution free. What people enjoy doing around your block? It is well known for its historic fountain and clock tower which annually bring a large number of tourists. So helps a lot of local vendors too. A little extra knowledge for what your area is known for. So suppose you live in Delhi, then you can say something like we have really good cafes or eating points around our block and there is this place near my house, it's Writer's Cafe and they serve my favourite pancakes and uh, people really enjoy coming here with friends and all. We talked about how the neighbourhood looks like, what people enjoy doing there and what you enjoy and what is it famous for. Now I would like all of you to just pause the video here. You got the structure, you understood what all you can say to a question like this. So pause and answer exactly how you would explain your neighbourhood. Judge yourself and see where you're lacking or maybe what you did well. Next question. What's the best way for me to reach your locality? So collect all the information on how one can reach there such as by road, by airplane or whatever is available. So now your answer can go like If you're flying, you can land at Chennai International Airport and take a cab or an auto rickshaw. The city is connected to numerous other cities in Tamil Nadu as well as other significant cities in India via the local train station. To go to my apartment instead, you can take a bus or rent a car from any location in Chennai and this is what usually people do I guess. But we just shifted there um, the year before last so maybe there are more ways but I'm not so informed about all of them yet. So we gave the examiner all the possible ways to reach the place and see what we did in the end. We also added that we might not know all the options because we are kind of new there. However, the examiner never asked when we shifted. So why we should tell them? Because we also need to give good extended answers. So if we are short of ideas, we can just move the answer a little bit here and there. The examiner surely wouldn't mind that. Moving on to our next question. Should I visit at any special time of the year? So our answer can go like, my city gets most of its tourists in the summers and I would also recommend this particular season to you. There are many outdoor activities and attractions during this time and you will find my locality at its most beautiful self then. So I explained how your answers can go like if they ask you questions related to your hometown. Now the topic might differ from your neighborhood, city or hometown. They can ask you about your job wherein they would ask Tell me a little bit about your job, do you have to work in a team or do you love working in a team, will you change your job in the future. They can also talk about your interests like what do you do in your leisure time, have your activities changed since childhood or do you do anything which you used to do as a child, do you prefer spending your leisure time alone or with others. So all in all. Each question in this part will only be about you. For some people it can be a kick walk, but you must practice before you attend the speaking module. Because we know all of our thoughts about ourselves, but we can't describe it in good words. And that is where we tend to lose our bat. Now this was all for today. I'll be back with another topic, another video and more such tips to help you score your desired bands Till then, stay tuned for more content and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to make sure you are notified of all upcoming videos.